what is sulfide mining. The mining companies don't like that term. They say we should call it copper nickel mining because it sounds better. Now here's why we do call this and should call what's happening or proposed in Minnesota sulfide mining. The answer is geology. The copper, the nickel, the gold, the other metals in Minnesota that they would be trying to blast out of the ground and process are embedded in sulfide bearing rock. That's not a problem if that rock stays in the ground. But if that rock is brought to the surface and blasted and pulverized, it is exposed to air and water and it means that sulfuric, sulfuric acid is formed. And sulfides, when they generate sulfuric acid, that's what the term acid mine drainage comes from. And acid mine drainage is directly toxic. But even at lower levels, where there's not enough acid to make it toxic, the increase in that sulfuric acid means that more metals leach out of the rock. And that is toxic metals, not just mercury, but copper and nickel. And these are metals that can affect plants and can affect animals and human beings. That for the Polymet Project, for example, Less than 1% of what is blasted out of that ground is going to be copper or nickel or any other metal that they want to pay for. As a matter of fact, the polymet mine has a higher percentage of sulfide in that rock than copper and nickel combined. So it would, in fact, be a mine where you mine sulfide. You bring sulfide out of the ground more than metals.